Hey guys, if you watched my last video, you probably know that my computer blew up during my particle experiments. It's a good thing I was able to restore it. After thinking about it for a while, I decided to put it through more torture. And today I will show you how effective temporal denoiser in DaVinci Resolve can be. Let's get started. For the first test, I created such simple scene. I added a little shake to the camera with an add on from Ian Humbert. I used HDRI and a standard sun lamp as light sources. After that, I animated the sun to make the scene even less static. To reduce the rendering time in cycles, I used minimum values in light pass and activated persistent data. Also, the noise level was significantly reduced by the portals of light in Windows. In the end, I set the render limit time to 20 seconds and also chose animated noise instead of static, which is theoretically necessary for any temporal denoiser. After that, I got the following result. Hopefully, despite the YouTube compression, the noise is clearly visible. Well, let's see if the temporal denoiser from DaVinci can handle this noise. Let's turn it up to maximum. At first you may think that there is not much noise removed by the temporal denoiser. But let's play the animation. Unlike the OIDN and optics, temporal denoiser in DaVinci does not try to eliminate noise completely. Rather, it makes it less noticeable and stabilizes it. At the same time it practically does not affect the detail and most importantly does not create that flickering effect like the aforementioned denoisers. And all this in real time. By the way, additionally we can apply a regular denoiser. After which the noise will be completely gone, but with it the details. After a few tests I decided that this scene is too simple. So I made it a bit difficult. Well, not a bit but very difficult. In this example of scene our room is entire of glossy. There is metal, glass, hair and even volume with multi-scattering. So let's see what noise level cycles gives us after 20 seconds per frame. Not so bad but there's still a lot of noise. Now let's add a Da Vinci temporal and regular denoisers. As you see we get quite pretty result. Of course we lost details and for commercial product it doesn't suit but for YouTube personal work it is insane good result. Now let's look at another scene. This is simplified barbershop demo scene from Blender site and there are a lot of details. I was very surprised how low the noise level cycles gives us after 20 seconds per frame. Cycles is fast like a beast. But let's add Da Vinci Temporal Denoiser and we get even cleaner result. Yes, there are problems in some areas but in this case I won't use standard denoiser because I don't want to lose details and I will going upload this video on YouTube. And as we all know YouTube is some kind of denoiser too. By the way, now I can decrease render animation time even more. I can decrease speed of my animation by 75% with optical flow algorithm and get 33 seconds of smooth animation instead of 8 seconds. But to be honest, this method does not always work correctly, especially if the scene has a lot of details or a lot of movement. As you see temporal and regular denoisers of DaVinci can significantly decrease your animation render time. Unfortunately DaVinci with denoisers isn't free program. But don't be sad. I think this year we will get temporal version OIDN denoiser on GPU. Also cycles will get path guadding algorithm and with these two features we will manage to get interior animation scene very fast without any noise. That's all guys. Leave comments, subscribe and thank you for watching.